Today, we're diving into the latest news about Samsung's One UI 7.0 update. There's been a lot of buzz, especially around whether Samsung would introduce a feature similar to Apple's Dynamic Island. Let's clear the air and see what's really coming in this update. First things first, it turns out there will be no Dynamic Island feature, one of UI 7.0. That's right. Although there was a lot of speculation due to a recent leak, a well-known tipster, Ice Universe, clarified things on Twitter. The elliptical shapes in the status bar that sparked rumors aren't part of any Dynamic Island-like feature. They're just notifications. In One UI Sticks, there was already an elliptical element for call notifications, and it seems Samsung is extending this design to include other app notifications like stopwatch, music, and recording in One UI 7.0. According to Ice Universe, Samsung is not copying Apple's design, but rather creating its unique style. The beta testing for Samsung's highly anticipated One UI 7.0 is set to start on July 29th, so we're really close to getting our hands on it. Now let's rewind a bit and talk about some earlier leaks related to One UI 7.0. One of the most exciting updates is for the Galaxy S24 Ultra, which will be among the first devices to receive this update. The good news is that Samsung is focusing on significantly enhancing the camera experience. According to Ice Universe, One UI 7.0 will optimize several shooting modes on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, specifically the 1X and 5 50 megapixel modes for the primary and telephoto cameras are set to deliver the same quality as the 12 megapixel pixel bin photos. Usually, photos captured in this pixel bin mode offer better clarity, colors, and dynamic range. With a new update, Samsung aims to ensure that the 1x50 megapixel primary mode and 550 megapixel telephoto mode on the Galaxy S24 Ultra match this level of detail and quality. There have also been some intriguing leaks about the visual changes in One UI 7.0. After last week's sneak peek at redesigned icons for some of Samsung's stock apps, we now have new information from Smart Pricks and user Chun Bia. They showcased images of One UI 7.0's new quick panel design, which sports a more rounded and polished look. The quick panel is divided into two sections, quick settings and notifications, which users can switch between by swiping left or right. Additionally, you can hide the labels in the quick settings, giving the interface a cleaner appearance. This design isn't just a copy of iOS as some rumors suggested, but rather an evolution of the One UI 6.0 quick panel, with improvements that aim to enhance the user experience. One of the standout features in One UI 7.0 is the improved continuity feature. This enhancement allows users to seamlessly transfer video call notifications to nearby devices. So if you're on a Galaxy phone and need to continue the call on a Galaxy tablet or even a Samsung TV, you can easily do so, provided both devices are signed in with the same Samsung account. The notifications themselves have also seen a redesign now appearing more rounded with additional space between them for a cleaner look. So are you excited about the One UI 7.0 update? With all these new features and improvements, Samsung is certainly stepping up its game. That's all for today. What do you think about these upcoming changes? Drop your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon to stay updated with all our latest content. See you in the next video. Today, we've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim, which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, the Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. 
In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go E25, complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilly smartphones. And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices one leaked photo a few days ago, looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6's overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.